look, clearly it's been intimated, and, uh, and I would concur that there's lots of um, uh, distrust. Uh, Eddie, why is there such distrust? Give us, paint us a picture why so many within our community are distrusting the authorities, the government, and some within our medical profession. They tell me that they've never been put first. Why are they being put first now? We know that more black women die in childbirth. We know mental health services disproportionately, particularly black men diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. We, we know that these things exist. And what they say to me, Lord Woolley, is, you know, you're coming to us now going, we know things have happened. We know there's been inequality, but you must trust us to take this vaccine. And people are going, well, through my whole life, it hasn't been like that. And, you know, the best way you could help me is if we work from the point of view. And as I say, uh, this is something Professor Kevin Fenton said when he came on to my show on BBC Radio London, uh, which is we have to help those. If you supported people, perhaps, who couldn't afford or didn't feel as though they could afford to get tested in case they've tested positive, in case they had to take time off work because they're not like us going to get paid, then it would at least have shown the beginnings of a kind of, we care about you, we think about you, we cherish you. And I, I think what the doctor said there is absolutely perfect because we will think that everybody has access perhaps to, to the internet and the like. With COVID, it's really difficult to get to, Lord Willie, the type of people that you're talking about here quite often, because they might not have that access. 